Good afternoon, my name is Brian Gagney. I'm the manager of Glazing Technical Services. I'm here today to talk to you guys about ETA, Engineered Transition Assemblies, System 3, which is installed into a pressure bar system. So what we have here is our ExoWare 430. Uh, it has been detailed with our ExoWare 110 AT, flashed into the rough opening. The pressure bar system was set flush to the rough opening which works well with our, our system three, making that transition straight across. We do have to mill away the, the mullion stem of the pressure bar system uh, to allow that corner to transition through. As you can see, that uh, ties in very nicely and allows you to get past that mullion stem. And it nice, gives you a nice flat bonding surface as well. Uncoil your material. Prior to uh, now, cutting everything, I want to make sure that my dimensions are accurate. Perfect. Then at the head here, show you how this corner comes in. You got that proper one inch lap. The nice thing about having the ribs here as well is it gives you a nice straight line on where you need to cut. We recommend that you clean the substrate with IPA, isopropyl alcohol. We have uh, cut a little sample piece and this will allow us to uh, put plug in and give us an idea of where the, the, the piece is going to terminate to kind of use it as a guide when we're putting the sealant in place. Make sure that we're putting it about the appropriate place. First things first, you apply a little bit of sealant into the raceway. The purpose of this is not to fill the raceway, but to allow the, the dart to have something to engage with. So for the corners, you're always gonna make sure that uh, th this little notch goes where the stem of the mullion is. Uh, some people refer to that as the gun sight. Install the sill piece first to make sure that you get good alignment. Squeeze that sealant out. Then you slide it over if you need to. Get that in place. Want well, to make sure you get a nice little wet out. I have a, a roller I'm trying to use to wet out the, the sealant in the corner locations. We do want to make sure that we come out all the way to the edge. I was a little bit shy. So you can peel that back, apply a little bit more sealant. Roll that into place. Just to make sure you're getting that appropriate amount of wet out on the edge there. As we go to install the, the sill location, you apply your bead. So at this point, we have the opportunity to either trim out the dart and apply it over the corner and then come back and apply a sealant bead over the, the edge. Or you can utilize the, the fact that this molded corner has relief in it, so we can just slide it underneath into the, the, the corner itself. And we're going to elect to do that method. Then with the roller, make sure you get your good wet out. Again, you're, you're not trying to bring this down to a thin film. You're just trying to make sure you get good sealant contact and wet that out as well. Uh, 
Another way of uh, pushing the, that sealant for proper wet out is to uh, tool it ahead of time to make sure you're getting that, that one inch, like so. You also need to apply sealant at, at the corner location. Then with your corner piece, again, you wanna make sure that that notch is at the gun site or the mullion stem. So next we're gonna work on the jam. Uh, the right side here. One of the things that you want to make sure is you have the proper lapping. So we want to make sure this is ship lapped. So as we put this down, we need, we're going to need to trim away a small portion of this dart to get the proper overlap. So you do need to cut off about an inch of the dart. And we apply the sealant in the jam. Installing the uh, ETA into the raceway. Making sure that we get enough bite underneath. Just making sure to get all the air bubbles out. Make sure you get good proper lap at the Bottom of that joint, and onto your corner piece, making sure the notch goes at your mullion stem or gun sight. Then, final step is you want to tool all of your joints. So wherever you have wet out sealant, you want to come back, make sure that you tool it. Of course, you want to make sure at the head of the window, you've got a nice transition because you don't want any water collecting on those ridges. Make sure that's tooled very nice and clean. That does complete the uh, installation of ProGlaze ETA System 3. For more information about ProGlaze ETA and how the materials are assembled, please feel free to visit our website or call our tech service line.